yeah, too too scared of crashing, I guess, and just respecting things and respecting the walls here. It's a tough place. And then in the race, as soon as you see guys more on the limit, I just get more and more confident to follow them, I guess. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, I guess the aura of the place. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. So sorry, mate. Sorry. Yeah, I guess like the aura of the place is, is gone a bit because I came here last year, but to do it on the oval and yeah, a lot of respect for this place and like the indie guys, even the cup guys, how fast they go into that corner. It's it's pretty cool. It's um, Our things are slow on the straight, but still in the corners they move around and there's a lot going on. Shane Van Ginsberger, welcome to Indianapolis with a fourth place finish. What do you think of Indianapolis Motors? Yeah, I had a loss. caution and decided to take tires and it was really fun coming back through on the restart. I know you're learning ovals. Uh, yeah. And this is a big one to learn. Yeah. What did you learn today? Uh, I just took my time, respected the track and built up to it and we weren't very fast in practice or qualifying but as the race went on the car got better and I got better and more comfortable too. Shane Vance Gibbard. How big is this getting a top five? Back up and running, sorry. <laughs> How big is this for you to get a top five uh, after learning so much with these yep. cars, learning at the you got a top five in Atlanta, it's yep. kind of a plate race, but just yep. to say non-plate race, actual traditional NASCAR open, and you got a top five, yep. how does that feel for you to get that? Uh, it's still kind of a plate race with the engine, but yeah, just special, like an awesome day. I, I feel like I have been getting better every week with the ovals and improving, and I'm just patient, I guess. I just build up, get better and better, and in the race I got more confident, and yeah, just I got some laps there in clean air, actually with Connor, and we, we kind of learned together, it felt like. And, um, you know, then when I got in traffic around good cars, I was, I was confident to run with them. Yeah, I saw Connor come up to you. What did he say? What did you talk yeah. about? Yeah, well, it was just really fun racing. You know, this Xfinity cars are awesome to race. And, yeah, you move around a lot. He made some amazing moves at stage two, was really brave. And I was like, okay, I'll just follow him. And, yeah, then I got back in front of him, and he sort of pushed me through a few. And we have both given thumbs up to each other. So, pretty cool. What does this confidence level uh, give you? What kind of yeah. give you going into the rest of the season, and especially in the playoffs, having yeah. three wins? It's more just building and knowing we can do it, you know, and knowing what I need from the car. I was asking for adjustments now. Um, I guess, um, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I've made, I've started knowing what adjustments do, and I, you know, if Bruce suggests something, I can say yes or no, and yeah, just learning what I need from the car, and we just keep building. Yeah, the wheels were still somewhat straight, so that was really fun. I mean, the car was really fast. I, I, I honestly, I had a tremendous time. I mean, I, I think I got moved out of the way a little bit, obviously, which I expected. But for the most part, I really enjoyed the racing. And, like, racing with Shane was really fun. He's, like, he's awesome to race with. Some of those other guys, too. So it was just fun to run at the front with these guys because I watch every week, and I, I enjoy watching the series. Um, but, yeah, this Toyota was, was fast, and it's got a lot of, a lot of character to it now. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I think my experience helped, but I mean, it's still such a different car, and there's so many moments that literally just ambushed me because I didn't know. I, I, I had not been moved just purely with my air. Like, Austin Hill got to my left rear, didn't touch me at all, but sure enough, I was crashing almost. So it was just one of those things that was just difficult. But um, but yeah, like, this team did a great job. They gave me a great car. We maybe, we maybe over-tightened it a little bit at the end, but um, yeah, super thankful for Polkadot and... Sam Hunt for getting me on, on this program and Toyota for allowing me to be a part of their group. <laughs> when you were running with that front group, what is that confidence level? What, what kind of boost did you give you with that? Well, I mean, honestly, the funniest part was is like when we were seventh, I was like, dang, we're stuck behind like three of these guys. Like, I thought we were much better. Like, if we could have just cleared Allgaier, um, like, I think we had much more momentum on that stint. Like, if, like, let's say it all ran all the way to the checkered, like, we were in really good shape. So, yeah, a bit of a gamble to take two tires at the end, which was tough because I had never experienced a car with just two tires and uh, definitely tightened up more than I expected. So I was just, it was just kind of a new experience. This is Custom Patch Hat. But what makes us custom? Well, that actually begins with you. We're just bringing your unique vision to life. No knockoffs, no lookalikes. Your design is one of a kind. We know hats, we know design, and we know quality. The proof? It's in our production. 
hand stitched with precision and care with brands you know and trust. A one of a kind patch deserves a one of a kind treatment all the way to your doorstep. It's how we keep it custom. Steven Stump of FrontStretch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.